Editor's note, this review may contain spoilers. Summary following the events of Superman Reborn, things are back to normal in Hamilton County. Or should we say the new normal, as the new status quo is unveiled? Superman and family take some time to adjust and enjoy their situation. However, their rest is interrupted by a visit from Batman and Robin. Batman has completed his analysis of John's powers and has some worrying questions. Positives As much as I loved Superman Reborn, it left me fearing that the merging of the new 52 and classic Superman's histories would lead to Clark, Lois, and John living in Metropolis, with no memory of Hamilton County. Instead, I was overjoyed to discover that their lives are pretty much the same as they have been so far in this title, except that they are openly using the Kent name and apparently always have. Superman spends the first half of the story basking in the joy of the life he has established, which is made sweeter from knowing that this world is his home and that he is this Earth's rightful Superman. Interestingly, there seems to be some residual memory of their changed past, coming from another dimension, using pseudonyms. But Clark reassures Lois that they will figure it out. It's always good to see Batman and Robin show up in this book. The dark and brooding pair complement Superman and Superboy's bright optimism. Perhaps Superman's new history will allow for the re-establishment of the world's finest friendship. One interesting tidbit was Batman's observation that John being half-human, half-Kryptonian should make him much more powerful than his father. Previously DC stories have implied that any of Superman's children would have decreased powers, which would diminish over successive generations. This new idea that human DNA could complement and increase Kryptonian abilities is fascinating. Negatives just a minor quibble, but another alien-slash-supernatural threat popping up in Hamilton County? This is starting to strain the suspension of disbelief. Verdict This is the happiest time I've had reading a comic since DC Rebirth gave us back Wally West. This title is the heart of the DC line, and has established Superman, the character, as the heart of the DC universe. This issue reaffirms this, plus it's got Batman in it.